Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode it is August 3rd. We're going to sell our produce and our eggs as usual. I already I just finished loading everything up on the trailer. And I have a theory. Okay. My theory is that our chickens are broken. <laughs> we have had adult chickens uh we we had three we had three batches of chickens right so the first batch of chickens have been producing eggs all along and every month for many months now they've produced this many eggs so a full pallet and then a partial pallet okay um more or less right but if we look in here at our critters we have nine month old chickens that are not producing anything and we also have seven month old chickens that are not producing anything but if we look at these chickens which are 17 months they're they're producing okay um and i wonder if it's because we don't have enough roosters in the pen now i was led to believe based upon a video that i watched that you don't actually need roosters at all but i'm wondering if the Giants changed that in an update where you do have to have roosters, enough roosters to, to support all the hens. Uh, because it doesn't make any sense that a, the seven-month and nine-month-old chickens aren't, aren't producing. And we're, I'm not seeing any more eggs than I normally would see with just the first batch. I don't know if that's true or not, but we're going to do a little experiment here, Okay. We are going to add a couple roosters to the pen, so we have a total of three roosters. Hopefully they don't fight, and see if that makes a difference, okay? So what we're going to do is, uh, these are the chickens that we own. Let's sell two of these chickens for 40 bucks. And let's purchase two more roosters. Now, I am not a chickenologist, but I don't think we want multiple roosters in the same coop because then they fight and, you know, two of the three roosters get their ass handed to them. <laughs> I'm not sure how that works. But um wait didn't we just buy two more roosters where are they i still only see the one rooster right there uh what the heck okay hold on so it says we have two more roosters i just don't see them hmm All right, well, according to this, they're there. I just, I don't know where they're at. Let's open the windows here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where they are. Maybe, maybe it just doesn't show it. Maybe the, it just shows one rooster. You know, because these chickens that we're looking at are not representative of the total amount of chickens that we have in the coop anyway. So that that's probably what's going on here. I don't know. So that may not make a doggone bit of difference, or maybe it will. So we won't know until, you know, a little more time goes by. But that's my theory, because it appears like the other, you know, the the chickens that matured later are not producing eggs for us so we'll see what happens and go from there i guess all right anyhow uh last time i checked the prices uh the bakery's given the best price for eggs and the 970 the grocery mart's given the best price for lettuce eggs bakery 13.94 so let's go to the bakery first uh, deliver the eggs here, and then we will go to the grocery store to deliver the lettuce. Mm. 
3500 bucks. All right, not too bad. And $10,223 for the lettuce. That's pretty darn good. Anything over 9000 bucks is pretty darn good. And the price is going to continue to rise over the next few months, too. So it's going to get better and better. Fantastic. Okay, so that brings it up to $142,172. Make you holla. We, uh, or rather, I, uh looked at the sales and I don't think there's anything that we want I'll show you what is in there here let's get this uh, parked here uh, so yeah the sales include a weeder a Kloss header trailer this uh, Verniland uh, lime spreader that we did rent the only thing i didn't like about this the cool thing about it is it can do both fertilizer and lime the the thing that sucks about it is it's got a really small hopper so we had to end up filling it several times we got this elho mower which is kind of nice but this mower does not windrow right so i'd rather wait and get the pottinger mower and then looks like we have a front loader you know what this is yeah front loader here which we don't really need you know i mean we got the this would help with stacking bales but we're just not it's just not something we need right now so uh looks like we don't quite have a full pallet of honey yet either so we are sitting on 142,172 dollars and uh, i am not entirely sure what i want to do with that money yet we may not do anything with it. We might just sit on it. I talked a little bit about that in the last episode. One thing we could do is throw some of that towards our loan to start paying the loan down. Uh, which I would like to do, but, you know, we have in two more months, well, three more months, January in particular, we're going to be bringing in quite a bit of cash. We're going to have um, canola to sell. We're going to have corn to, to sell. We're going to have silage to sell. Uh, we're going to have another hay cutting to maybe, are we? Yeah, we, we should have another hay cutting in November. Um, pretty sure we will. So we'll have our, another hay cutting. We won't, you know, the, the contracts won't have another one, but we will. And so, you know, we're just going to add a whole nother cutting to everything that you see here for silage. And yeah, we're going to make some bank on this, you guys. We really are. So I don't know. I'm kind of thinking I should just sit on the money right now. Watch the sales. If this field back here, which I talked about also in the last episode, was not cotton, but something else, I'd buy it. But it's cotton, and I just don't know if um, it's cost-effective for us to, to buy it because of the extremely expensive equipment that we would have to lease to harvest it. I don't know if we would recoup our money or even make a profit on it. So, yeah. Um, we can buy this field anytime we want to. That's just the way the game works, right? We don't have to get the field right now. And, you know, even if we did buy it right now, I don't think it would. we wouldn't get a hay cutting out of it until, until the spring anyway. It's just too late in the year. So I think we're going to wait on that. Okay, so that being said, let's go ahead and get this little corn patch prepped up for hay normally i would plow this but i think i'm gonna instead i think i'm just gonna cultivate it with our cultivator and then go from there so yeah let's get this done let's do it
Okay, let's do this. Let's go to the store. Let's go to rock pickers. Where are the stone pickers? Stone pick, stone pickers. Wherefore art thou stone pickers? Right here. We're going to buy this. Let's just buy it. It's cheap. We've been using a lot. We got it now. It's ours. And let's go to cedars. Let's find this awesome John Deere direct drill cedar that we've used. Let's buy it. It's ours. We got it forever and always. Nice. Okay. Oh, I was going to change. <laughs> I got to change my uh, uh, orientation of my spawn point because it's kind of at an angle there. Yeah, I mean, you know, these are so inexpensive and they're so effective for the price. I'm just buying them because we're going to need them again. Whoops, I guess we're a little too close here. We're going to need them again, you know, as we continue to expand fields and whatnot. So, um, a little closer. Oh, you know what? I don't think I have the right... Do I have the right hitch on this tractor? I think we need to use... I think we need to use the um, McCormick with this. Yeah, I believe that is the case. Okay, so let's just park you in here. What am I missing, though, on here that the McCormick has? Do, uh, do we not have a th three-point hitch? I mean, it looks exactly the same. Oh, you know what I think it is? I think the New Holland's too high. That's right. It's too high off the ground for it to register. I remember that now. We had a problem with that before. And I believe I came to that conclusion. Well, that's why we have two tractors, baby. There we go. Okay, let's go get the stones off that field. Alright, it looks like we got all of them. Let's check the map, though, to be sure. That was probably just a little bit faster than doing the whole entire field. Oh, let's see. Oh, it says it needs plowing. Alright, well, shoot. We just wasted time then because... Crap. Yeah, we just wasted time cultivating because plowing's going to bring up the the stones again. That gone it. All right. Well, maybe it won't bring up as many stones. So I wouldn't count on it though. We need to do that, or we're not going to get as much yield off of this spot. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go. I should have checked that first. I wasn't thinking. My bad. Uh, let's go to subsoilers. And we've got this uh, four meter subsoiler here. This one's better because, well, this one requires less horsepower, but it's heavier. This one is, <clears throat> excuse me, lighter, but it requires more horsepower. Uh, let's buy the coon. We're just going to buy it because we've been using these, these things enough that, uh, I think we should just buy it because we're going to have a lot more fields to prep before this is all said and done. Okay. Well, shoot. Let's, um, let's set this down right here. And the reason I'm setting it down in the crick bed is because the last time I set this down, 
it kind of caused a, for lack of a better way of putting it, a bit of a stain on the ground. <laughs> so I'd rather have it uh, right here in the creek bed if, if that's going to happen at all. Yeah, I should have checked that, but I didn't. So, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Let's get her plowed. And that, like I said, is going to generate some more stones, but... Hey, you know what? Maybe it'll be enough stones for us then to uh, be able to buy a cheeseburger when it's all said and done. Oh, whoopsie. Nice. Okay, so we own our own plow slash subsoiler. We own our own cedar, which is also a direct drill. Has a nice wide width and was cheap. And we own our own stone collector picker thingamadoodle. That doesn't suck. All right, let's get this sucker plowed. All right, let's take a look at the map and a uh, bunch of big rocks all over the place, but the plowing is now finished. There's enough rocks here, I think, to warrant us just covering the whole field because we'll also get the cultivated state. You know what? I'm just running over this guy. <laughs> Doesn't hurt him anyways. Uh, we'll also get the cultivated state by doing that too. Um... So yeah, we're just gonna run over that. I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna keep all this, all these new implements that we just bought. Cause we did buy those, we didn't lease them. It's a beautiful thing. Those are ours, baby. Uh, we might be able to put those in the barn actually, kind of tuck them back in the little bays there. Uh, but I'll worry about that later. All right, so this is 19% full. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely get the rest of the stone on this field before this thing gets completely filled up. And we are not going to get rich off that stone, but we might be able to buy a cheeseburger with it when it's all said and done. All right, we got all the stones. We're 50% full. That's probably enough for a cheeseburger. Let's go dump, dump these stones off. $59, that's enough for a cheeseburger. Maybe a couple cheeseburgers. All right. That's more of the money than I thought we were gonna get. <laughs> Okay, let's park this inside the barn here. Uh, let's see if we can put it inside. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of tight in here, actually. Maybe not. Maybe not. We can certainly find room in our shed. At some point, we're going to have to expand our shed situation, though, too, of course. Um, maybe what we could do is park this stuff yeah, back here. That should work. All 
Alrighty. Let's put the subsoiler there too. I think it'll fit. The cedar is not going to fit in that spot. We'll have to figure something else out with that. But this should fit, I think. Be a little tight. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. I mean, oh man, so close. We could get it past the pole. Yeah, okay, we got this. Next time we put the bale loader in, we can hold it over to that side a little more than it is currently is. And chances are, you know, we're going to need the subsoiler first before we will need the stone picker. So, wait, what? No. That's not what I wanted you to do. All right, hold on. i got to pull forward a little bit because it's trying to hook up the stone picker. Cut that out. super strength on? I do. Seriously, game? What? What in the world? All right. Something bad wrong here, Bobby. On game seriously uh, all right here let's you gotta be kidding me all right, what if we try and grab this? Unbelievable. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go here. We're going to 79.30. Oh, actually here, let's do it this way instead. Uh, 22526. Sell. Alright, now we're going to go to the store. I'm going to buy this back. What, what did I say? 225? And it's 3,400, so that means we, 22, we owe ourselves, we'll, we'll just say 1,200 bucks. All right, now let's go here and give ourselves $1,200. Oh man, okay, let's try this again. Um, I still want the stone picker in first.
quite lined up on it good enough. That's why we have admin tools, you guys, to deal with crap like this. Did that bail loader get knocked over a little bit? Gonna move it over a little bit. Yeah, good enough. Okay. Can I connect to this on the front? Just to move it. Sure can. Okay, now let's not get it quite so close as it was before. Let's just drop it like, say, right here. There we go. Okay, that's better. What a bunch of farting around, man. Okay, let's go seed that little spot there. Oh, uh, it's gonna want lime, probably. Oh, don't we wanna screw with that for such a small area? Well, it doesn't say it needs lime. Oh no, it doesn't need lime. Cause I think it already had lime on it. Did we miss some stones? There's still some red spots. Oh uh, no, I bet those are just missed plowed spots. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about that. Um Whoop. I'm pretty sure we didn't miss any stones. There's a couple unplowed spots, so what? It's just not gonna make that much difference. Okay. Yeah, that field was limed by the previous owner, so. And I think once we get the, the hay crop on it, we won't have to worry about that anyway. Okay, let's load up. Fertilizer and seed. Yeah, what the heck? Let's do them both at the same time. Why not? Okay, lower, oh yeah, select seed. We want grass, glad I remembered to do that. Um, lower cedar? And I don't think we have to, oh, whoops. We don't have to turn this on because it's wheel driven. So yeah, we're good to go. All right, let's do this. Wait, is it applying fertilizer though? I don't see the fertilizer going down. Oh yeah, it's going down, it's going down. Okay. I'm going to drop this down a little sooner here just to make sure we get all of this covered because I don't want to have a... 
whoops, a patch that's missing here. Of course, now that we own this thing, we can come back later and fix any spots if we need to. Oh, this is great, man. A direct drill, so it cultivates, it seeds, and it fertilizes. And it was only 7,000 bucks. And it's got a wide working width. What a deal. Thank the Lord for mods. That's all I got to say. This is way better than anything. Well, no, I shouldn't say way better. It's way better than anything even close to its price range. Let's put it that way. There are, you know, better direct drills, but they're very expensive. Not something we can afford right now. Okay, that takes care of the seating. Um, we have one spot that, up here that I need to redo whilst we have this out. Okay. All right, that's that's a wrap, you guys. That is a wrap. So we should see germination on, on November. Um, but we won't get any hay from this section in November, but we should get hay from the everything else. That's what I'm expecting anyways. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But, but you know, then next season... Uh, come March, Aprilish, or whatever, uh, we will. This will all, all be hay for us too. Very nice, very nice indeed. Okay. Now the next question is, what are we gonna do with this thing? Where are we gonna put it? We'll pop out the fertilizer and the seed that's left. Um. I don't, I don't know where we're going to put this. Can't really put it inside the shed. You know what we might be able to do, actually? Well... Hmm, maybe... What if we... This is only going to work until we get more hay. If if we well, we probably won't be getting any more hay for the rest of this year. No, it's not going to fit. Okay, that isn't going to work. Okay. Well, then let's just, for the time being, park it in front of... Oh, I got an idea. What if we do this?
There. It's it's undercover for the most part there. If we're careful, we should be able to get the trailer and the cultivator out, and then the next time I put the cultivator in, I'll just, you know, move it over a little bit more. And uh, it is blocking, of course, the subsoiler and the stone picker, but by the time we need those, we're also probably going to need the cedar again, too, so we can just move it all out of the way. So that should work. It's not the best situation in the world, but it should work. About ready to wrap up the episode, and I forgot, we got to roll the field, too. So let's get that knocked out first before we wrap up this episode. If we go to here and we go to here, it shows, yeah, shows that it needs to be rolled. So uh, like we did before, let's go into here and no, not here, uh, here and grab rollers and we're going to purchase um, oh, actually, I was going to look to see if there was a larger version of this Gootler. See, this is 6.4 to 8.2. That's right. We can, we can expand the width of this. All right. So, so that would make that an 8.2. Let's take a quick look-see on mod hub because there was one other set of gootlers too and i uh i don't remember exactly what they were okay so let's go to oh what are we looking for we're looking for rollers rollers right here okay so we're looking for gootler okay so we have this one gootler mayor there's also this Gootler Master and Matador business. Uh, and this Avant 45. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. This one has a six meter working width. Which is not really any better. I mean, we can do 8.4 if we expand the one that I've already got installed. So that one's not better. What's this? Um, this is a flat spring, so it's a cultivator and a roller, which we don't really need that because we don't want to cultivate after we've seeded. It can cultivate the field after plowing and then make it, and then makes a seed bed at the same time. Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, and that's, that only has a 6.4 meter, uh, working thing. Okay, what about this Avant 45? That's only three meters. Okay, so I think we've got the best one. We just need to, uh, when we purchase it, we need to expand it. Now, there are these, there's a Lizard PB32 in this guy. But still, again, only six meters there. Six meters, okay. I don't th think there's anything else that's going to uh, be 8.4 meters. So you can do, you can put these like in a triple config. That's five meters. That's 1.75, 1.7. Yeah. Um, you know, the other thing too is, the nice thing about this Gootler is it's also a soil roller in addition to a meadow roller, which is a huge plus. What's this thing? Holy crap, 22.9 meters? <laughs> Look at the price on it, though. <laughs> no, that ain't happening. What's this thing? Uh, that's also pretty darned expensive, and it's still only six meters. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe the price of that. No, that isn't going to work. Okay, so yeah, I think we got. I think we have the best thing. Um, we're just gonna do this mare, but we're gonna we're gonna purchase the extensions with it, and you know we get uh, we get both a soil roller and a meadow roller uh, out of the deal, which is really really good for the price. It's not super expensive either, considering what it'll do for us. Um, in fact, we should compare the width of that with the base game. 
Uh, well, actually, you really can't, though, because the base game roller is only a soil roller. Uh, okay, here. Let's go back. I'll just look at this real quick. So if we go to... No, not here. If we go to rollers. Oh, uh, well, okay. So 24.3 meters. That is enormous. But this is only a soil roller. We can't use it for meta rolling. Yeah, so these are only soil rollers. Okay, so let's grab this Gootler. Uh, it's it's fourteen thousand bucks, but if we add the extension to make it eight point four, it then becomes seventeen thousand. But I still think it's worth it because we get both the soil and the metal roller, and we we're metal rolling all the time, and we're soil rolling every time. You know, we we get a new field. Yeah, I think that's that's a good a good purchase for us. Okay, so let's go ahead and purchase that. And now we own it, baby. Look at this thing. It's amazing. Okay, cool. So let's grab let's grab the new Holland here. This we, this will probably end up destroying next to the baler for for the time being, because when it's folded, it's nice and nice and skinny, and we can just back it right in where we need it to put it. Yeah, I think this was a really good purchase for us. It does kind of screw up the existing grass, but that's okay. Once we get this field completely prepped, then it's all going to be just one big grass field, and everybody's going to be happy. Okay, let's go to it. All right, that should take care of the rolling. Let's take a look at the map, make sure the game's happy with what we've done here. It's looking pretty good. There's a couple of plow spots we missed, but like I said, I'm not really too worried about that, to be honest with you. Um, and we got the first stage of fertilizer there, so that's good. And um, yeah, so we can hit this little patch uh, with actual fertilizer from the spreader uh, after it germinates just to get it that second stage but I mean honestly in the in the long run it's not gonna make that much difference because once the grass comes in you know then we're gonna meadow roll it every every time we harvest it and then it'll be on par with everything else so uh, if I remember to do that I will but if I don't it's not not a big deal all right guys that is it I think we are gonna wrap up this episode here uh, we got some good, good, uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> we made some good progress. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, we made some good progress today. We got the field prepped. We're still sitting on $104,000, which we are going to sit on for now. And then, uh, next month in November, we will be selling our canola. Um, and I think that's really kind of all we're going to sell next month is the canola our own hay aside from the new stuff that we just did in this episode will be ready to harvest again so we're going to get one more cutting of our own hay 
And you know, this is gonna work, but I've gotta get that baler removed over a little bit. So we'll have, yeah, one more uh, cutting of our own hay and we're gonna have a really nice silage payout in January. Um, we also have a little bit of corn to sell. Uh, in, uh, I think that's either February, January or February. Uh, we'll have honey to sell. The lettuce uh, prices are going to go up and get better and better as the months progress. So yeah, I think uh, we have some good uh, financial days ahead of us if, if everything goes according to plan. Can we clear that? Yeah. So for now, I'm just going to keep the roller next to the baler. We are going to need to start thinking about on maybe another shed at some point. Where in the world we're going to put it is a whole another question, <laughs> question, but I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm still debating what to do about field 50, uh, you know, the one that has the cotton crop on it. And, uh, you know, so, I don't know, we'll we'll see. But I'm going to sit on my money at least until next month. We'll see what comes up in the sales. And, um, you know, just kind of go from there, I suppose. I do want to, as I've already mentioned, I do want to start to pay my, my loan down, too. So, you know, if nothing comes up good in the sales next month, we might actually just put our money on the loan, or at least some of it on the loan. We'll see. I, I really think that's not probably not the best move though probably the best move is for us to buy field 50 you know cotton or not we don't have to harvest the cotton you know um, I would do it if I if I knew for sure that the least cost of the very expensive harvest equipment would not at the you know put us upside down that we would make a, a tiny profit but I just don't know that I don't really know how I can know that without actually doing it and seeing you know what the results are so i'll give it a thought give it some thought rather and uh, <coughs> i will let you guys know what we're gonna do in the next episode which will be november 1st all right guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode even if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we will catch you in the next episode see ya